Hello everybody, my name is Trisha and um, I wanted to do a video in regards to Facebook but I'm going to introduce myself just a little bit because I know I look a little strange. Um, I'm a satanic priestess slash priest. Um, I have designed uh, priesthood and priestess hood so like if you could think of a satanic nun or a soon to be priest I'm designing all of that uh, religiously. Um, so my name is Trisha and I am going to be Justin Tyler here pretty soon but I wanted to make this video for my fellow citizens in regards to Facebook and what they're doing illegally. So this is a whistleblowing video that I hope everybody is listening to because um, we in the Christian Christian perspective are facing the end times. We have the beast of revelations. Uh, we have a supposed whore of Babylon uh, stuff, but I'm not going to go into that. Anyways, the law, something that's going on right now, that there are pedophiles being protected in Facebook. So when we all go on to Facebook, go about our lovely day thinking that we're protected by Meta. Meta owns Facebook now, this huge robot video game thing. They have millions and thousands of dollars, but yet don't have a customer service that has people that you can talk to when you know when something serious happens like child pornography gets reported why are they not reporting it to the police um i have been reporting tobias forge of ghost bc for the past year and there's other people that are pedophiles on facebook unfortunately and videos that are advertising it like the excuses that I got was that oh Tobias Forge lives in Sweden and the crime is coming from Sweden for all we know then if it's not happening on our soil we can't do anything about it this is what the local police here in Spokane told me and I said wow well, I could see it online, and this album is being sold in stores, so why is there no one to contact, like the FBI, and have them take Tobias Forge to court and make them recall the album, Imperia, because it contains child pornography, a poor little, I don't know, toddler disguised as a cherub being forced to perform oral is okay with you guys? Like, who else has reported this? Who else is turning the other cheek? Like, come on. I have Christian family that would stand up to this. And, you know, everybody I know, unfortunately, has turned to drugs. But, you know, I see what they're pumping out for cartoons. They're giving us subliminal messages. But now it's in your face. And America... I love being an American. I grew up in um, Deer Park, Washington, and, you know, I was a foster child. You know, being a transgender right now, like, and a Satanist, I'm no better than any of you, but I know that the only thing that makes you better than somebody else is knowing better and doing something about it. Like, I believe in you guys. I was not raised to turn the other cheek. You have to hold people accountable or else they're going to run like animals. Like people are, this is what people don't understand. And I don't want this video to be long, but Facebook is taking over the world. They have no customer service. And the agenda is the reason why they do not have customer service is because if you call and report the pedophile, the pedophile won't be able to pump out the child pornography anymore. And they're like, they all put their hands up and they're like, well, we don't know what to do. 
just call the police. And then when you call the police, what happens? You go through the giant loop, the giant loop, the giant circle that they put you in, a giant tornado of lies. Because they want to bury us. They want us to take the mark of the beast. And, you know, I know and I hope to goodness gracious that my citizens, my fellow brothers and sisters, do not let this happen. Because Meta, the robots that they've created, they have them in giant facilities as big as this bridge behind me. Giant facilities filled with robots and you don't even care. You're all sitting there watching TV, you know. Mmm, mmm. Yeah, Facebook. They seem to have their own laws. Like, it's like they're running their own country right now in ours and it's affecting me because i'm a parent of two kids yeah they live with their dad but if a teacher could not get away with what ghost bc is getting away with who's protecting toby's forge who's protecting papa emeritus who's protecting toby's forge and why like, this is an agenda. An agenda that has been flying underneath your guys' noses. While you're just focusing on your own lives, trying to get past all the BS and all the things that you never let yourself do in your life. You know, I myself am, you know, a satanic preacher. And I know I'm very close to Satan. He is not a big monster. He does not hate you. Satan is not the one coming after us. Satan is not the one that's going to be putting the chip inside your skin. It's going to be meta in the government. Because Satan, all he ever was, was the horned god that got demonized in the Bible. He's a pagan god. And his image got transformed to who we know is Satan, and he loves you. He wants you to be free. He does not want you to be afraid. He wants you to stand up for yourself and educate yourself. He even encourages atheism. He's like a person, but he's like, I can't, I can't force you to do anything you don't want to do. Like, I'm not going to force you to stand up for yourself. I'm not going to give you superpowers. I can help in, like, his spirit, if you're a theist like me, can help you to believe in yourself. He doesn't want you to be murdered by the shadow government, you know, who we know as the Illuminati. So this whole video is to expose the false prophet the false prophet is going to be Tobias Forge. He already is one. And it's not attacking Christianity. It's attacking the face of Satan. And Satanists should be outraged right now. I know I look crazy. I have my makeup. It's for my priesthood. Um, and this is for modesty, of course. Um, I still am female. But, of course, you can see the uh, testosterone. Um, either way, like, people should know that we need to be confronting the FBI. Why they're not confronting Facebook about why they're not reporting after we report. After you go online, you see something bad, that report goes to their office. Why is that office not having customer service to help you help identify that criminal? That criminal, Because they don't care. They're sitting embezzling up in Meta, preparing a machine government protected by robots. And they're going to come out 
and try to put us in like some kind of a I don't know government lockdown until they can figure out how to force you to do what they want they don't want to kill us all they want to scare us into doing something that we don't want to do and that might even be like a reformation of a new religion and I'm not trying to attack new age people but we're all spiritual atheists we're all our own gods even without Satan which I walk without him and with him every day you know it's a hard thing to explain but as off as this might seem and as long as this video is I hope you really deep dig deep down and find somebody to join you to tell your friends and your family Facebook does not report child pornographers to the police and that is why that is why ghost bc is running free because it's a protected agenda we're in the end times stay safe